Niko Korte, what do you think are the biggest digitalization challenges facing SSAB and the steel industry? Well, the industry is certainly changing quite rapidly and quite, uh, quite a lot. So one can see that uh, uh, production uh, is becoming much, much more automated than before. Uh, one can see production batches are smaller, the supply chains are much more efficient than, than before. So all this means that, that besides in being in the business of supplying steel, we have to also supply some information to our customers. And uh, when, when we think the solutions to these new challenges, it, it happens to be that more often than before, the, the solutions have digital components. So it means that, that all in all at SSAB we see digitalization as a good tool, not as an end itself. Okay, how do you think our customer collaboration and our role in that will develop? Well, I think there are many, many issues here now. Now, the first one is that we have a set of new tools that we can utilize. And it means that the existing communication can be much more efficient. The second thing is that we can add to the ways and to the levels how, how we communicate with, with, with our customers. And, and, and of course, one sees also that there is a lot of transparency, uh, more and more transparency when it comes to supply and demand, meaning different online, uh, online sales uh, solutions. But then also making the supply chain more, more efficient, get, getting into new type of collaboration networks. I, I truly believe that the, that, that the big, big values uh, are there and, and we have to challenge the traditional boundaries as well. Okay, how, how is digitalization evident in everyday life at SSAB? Uh, and that's the thing, how, how, how we actually try to run it at, uh, at SSAB, that we, we try to be really concrete. So we, we do small projects, we, we try what works, we do small pilots, we fail, we try again, we, we see what works and then we scale that. And, and, and this is how we try to run it and we are going to run it in three different areas. So the first one is that what can we do to our products and services? What, how can we help our business with these new tools? The second area is then how we can uh, help uh, to improve our customer experience. And then the third area is how we can Im increase the efficiency in, in our production and in, in our processes. Thank you very much.